Okay, uh, well, sorry I've been <laughs> absent for so long. I, I, I have a full-time job. I stay busy quite a bit and uh, I don't get a chance to get out in the radio shack and and do uh, videos like I, I would like to do. But anyway, um, I had a viewer uh, send me a, uh, a like a question in the comment section and I thought it'd make a pretty good video. He, he asked me if I'd do a video on it. So I figured, yeah, let's do a video on that. This is just a quick video. It's not a repair or anything, but uh, uh, basically he was wondering how to connect an antenna to a certain type of radio and you know you can't always connect an antenna to a radio because you get the buzz you know and humming and buzzing and stuff like that and uh, the solution to that is to capacitively couple the antenna to the radio this radio is a perfect example this is in for repair and it was sent in for repair uh, they claim the radio plays for 20 minutes and then just dies. So we're going to see if we can fix this, but that's not going to be in this video. Um, we have the antenna connected um, in the back here. This is just something simple to do if you run into this problem. Uh, you capacitively couple your antenna. This, this radio has an antenna jack on it. But let me show you what, it, what happens when you connect the antenna. If you connect the antenna directly to the radio, you're going to get that. Okay, so uh, what you do is capacitively couple the antenna to the radio. Now, a lot of times this will work if the radio's got a back cassette loop. You can just hold this your antenna wire close to the uh, the loop and sometimes it'll affect it. This one, it doesn't because I have it disconnected with that breaker bar. But if you directly connect it, you're gonna get that. So you use a capacitor and there you go. Now you have an outside antenna, which this is a about a 200 foot uh, uh, beverage antenna that this is connected to that's what i use on the shop for an antenna so yeah just a quick tip on how to capacitively couple your antenna um and by the way uh this uh the, what i was you all i was using for a capacitor was this uh, a, a 0 0.05 or a, a 0 0.047 microfarad capacitor um, it shouldn't really make a whole lot of difference on the value uh, if you connect it and you get a you get a home change the value go up go down and see what the radio likes that's really the best way to to figure out what value capacitor you need but this is just a 0 0.05 microfarad capacitor so this, uh, this example was done on this beautiful 1942 Zenith Boomerang radio. So anyway, uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'm trying not to make it so long before I put a video up. But uh, I'm <laughs> really not trying to neglect any, any of my viewers. But, uh, you know, uh, daily life is, uh, is, has taken over. And I just haven't had a lot of free time. So anyway, I just got this in the mail and I kind of wanted to kind of run it through its paces and see if it was going to act up on me or not, if it was, if I could duplicate the problem. And I figured while I was doing that, I'd make this quick video. Hope everybody's doing well and we'll talk to you later.